Welcome back everybody to the Johnny Popcorn channel with your man Johnny here and today I'm going to be going over a little trade I did with the pop -a -lot shop, a couple items I got from the whatnot, and a little Funko Pop haul that I went on with me and my girlfriend which originally was supposed to be finding stuff for people, went to a whole bunch of stores, couldn't find the stuff for a couple of friends that they wanted so I'm gonna show you what I ended up picking up anyway so make sure you go grab that popcorn sit back relax and enjoy the video hey everyone thanks for joining me and today we're gonna go over a uh, trade I did with the pop a lot shop a little Funko Pop haul that I got and a couple items I got off the whatnot. So to start things off, we're gonna go over the trade I did. I had a weaponized Rick Chase, which I was looking to get rid of, and this guy, Pop a lot shop, said he would trade something for me. So we ended up trading, and I got Dean. This is awesome. Totally stoked to have this and add it to the Supernatural collection. It was freaking awesome. So now I got the common Dean, which is so cool. There are so many Supernatural Pops I still need to get, but this is definitely a score for me. So that's pretty awesome. And he also sent me Nick Fury, a goose with the cat. With Goose the cat, I'm sorry. So I got that also. Guy seemed like a really nice guy, you know, to do this trade. And they also send people like a little item. With the packages, whether you're buying, selling them, trade, whatever. Buying a mystery box off them. That's what he told me. That they had little packages. And I got the little gold door from it. Um, not really into the pint size heroes so much, but those things are pretty cool. I mean, he'll definitely go good with all my Marvel stuff. So I'll be displaying them there. And down below, I'm going to leave a link to his website and his Instagram. So if you guys want to check him out, make sure you go check him out. Um, I really think the guy is awesome. Like I said, he does buy, sell, trade, and does mystery boxes. And then on to the next thing. I went... Bad decision, by the way, doing this. Uh, like I said, we are looking for some stuff for some friends. And ended up... I ended up at a comic book store, which I haven't been to one in like a long time. Like, specifically looking for comics. Like, I usually go to Samurai Comics, and they got Fungo Pops in there, so I look at them. But this is like just straight up a comic book store. Like they got comic books everywhere. The next time I go, hopefully I can record next time and show you guys all the comics and stuff they have there. Um, I didn't record this time because like I said, it wasn't meant to be a, like a pop hunt or anything. It just happened to turn into that. So I picked up Batman and Ninja Turtles Series 2. This is, a dish, this is the issue 3 out of 6. Um, they had 3, 5, and 6 for Series 2, and then they had Comic 6, I believe it was, for Series 3. Um, I'm actually looking for the first series, because I have the first comic. I want all 6 of them, so I can read them all. So I picked this one up, since this was the only copy of this. I figured I might as well get it, because they're hard to come by. And then while I was there, I ended up picking up a second comic. This team up is pretty cool. I'm actually pretty stoked to read this. I need to find the first two issues. It's Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters. This is Series 2. They didn't have any Series 1 there. They just had this one specifically. So I picked it up. Seems really cool. So I'm going to end up trying to get the first two of that Series 2. And then see if I can get the Series 1 comics of that and read them all. I, mean, I think they're pretty sweet team ups. I love the Batman Ninja Turtles. If you haven't watched the anime movie, definitely suggest go watching it. It is freaking awesome. Um, this Ghostbuster one with the Ninja Turtles, I'm actually pretty intrigued to read that. So once I get the other issues, I'll be able to read them all. But yeah, that's where I went to the Greg's Comics. Then I ended up at Zia Records, which is definitely a bad idea. Because we ended up picking up... This Jack Skellington from there. I think he's pretty cool. Picked him up from my girlfriend so she can have him. Because she loves Nightmare Before Christmas. So he picked that up. 
And then the last thing from our haul, I went to Asylum Records and ended up finding the orange Scooby-Doo that I wanted. Because I want this one, and, and I'm going to show you in a minute, I got the purple flock that I've been wanting. So I got both of them now, so that's awesome. It's pretty much like a set for me. So I have those Scooby-Doo's. And then the last thing I got from Asylum Records, I picked up this Halloween Freddy. This thing is freaking awesome. I saw this thing, and I had to have it. I mean, his crown's metallic, his bow tie, his cape, and he's black and white. That is crazy. That is crazy awesome. So I really like this. Can't wait to add it to the collection. I have Summertime Freddy right now. And I have this. Seems like a trend. Because I mean I picked up Summertime Freddy. Basically it's still kind of summer. But we're in September now. Getting to the fall and Halloween's coming up. I mean really. So I guess I got to pick up the Christmas one around Christmas time now. The Christmas Freddy. That will be pretty cool. And the last thing was the whatnot. I got this one. It's the blue bunny peep off Professor Josh's auction they had a few weeks ago. Pretty cool. So I just wanted to share with you guys what's adding to my collection. This, so I'm glad I picked this up. This is definitely something I've been wanting. Because I do like eating peeps. Pretty good. And the last thing was not an auction item off whatnot. But just an item I picked up was the purple flock Scooby Doo. I was mentioning earlier, I picked him up. Pretty awesome find, for me anyway. So I really enjoy this. And that's about it guys, until next time. Like the video you just seen and want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell, leave me a like, and leave a comment down below. Until next time everyone, bye now.